Hi, I'm going to go over quickly how you can use the betas in WhirlyGig. I update WhirlyGig on a regular basis um, in the betas. So if you click on your software and you've got WhirlyGig here, if I right click on there, go to properties, go to the beta tab, and then in the drop down, you've got a selection of betas here. And I'll try and keep as many betas as I can in the selection. Uh, but you can do one of two things you can either choose the latest beta or you can choose Whirly Gig Early Access Latest Beta, and that always gets updated. So if you actually want to just have a beta um, on a specific version, you can choose that one. Uh, and you can also choose any prior to that as well if you want to go back to an earlier version. If you're not interested in using a beta, so if I was to click None and go Closed, you see that's updated. So if I go to Downloads, you can see that it's updating now. It normally doesn't take very long because it's not a massive program. And there we go. Um, so that's gone back to its original. So if I go back to Dirt, to if I right click on Whirly Gig, go to Properties, go to Betas, you can see it's none opt out of betas for this program. So if I go here, go to the latest beta like so, you'll see that it will start downloading <clears throat> the latest beta and we are now back on the beta build. Um, that's basically it. Um, if you have any problems or any issues with uh, up and coming betas or anything like that, please let me know. And if there's anything, uh, any kind of features you'd like to see in the future, I'm also very interested. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy using Wonder Geek.